right, last video I mentioned that I'd give you guys a little sneak peek show on how my sensor network is arranged, how I've coordinated it, how the sensors are plugged in, what sensors I'm using and where they are located in the system as well as how they correlate to the LCD display. I'm also going to give you a quick little touch on how I calibrate. Uh, this is a, a point that I struggle with in my system, uh, but it will be fixed. Currently I'm focusing on nutrients, so we'll be tackling that issue first and then I'll get to simplifying my calibration concerns. But at this moment, calibration works fine. It just takes a little bit of an extra energy on my part. So right now, I'm checking my pH and my EC levels for the nutrient solution. I've got my pH probe down in here. Hopefully you can get a shot of that. I'm not looking at the camera, so forgive me. This, you can see, I just calibrated it. I've got a pH reading of about seven, which is not ideal. Actually, it's quite high. I'm having issues finding the right kind of chemicals here in Thailand to make sure that my nutrients is properly balanced, pH balanced. But I just put in an order with a large chemical manufacturer, and so hopefully that problem should be solved very soon. Once I get that sorted, I will then be focusing my energy more on this controller again. I currently have my EC Pro calibrating. So you can see it's reading an EC value of 1.39. It should be reading a value right around that. It's actually quite close. 1.413 would be ideal. That's what the calibration solution is. So I'll give you guys a little show on how I manage that. So you can see I've got my controller plugged into my computer. This is the bottleneck of my current controller design is every time I want to calibrate, I have to plug it into my computer. I will be eventually adding a couple buttons here that will allow me to calibrate without the addition of the monitor. So here we are looking at the display on my computer and we've got a couple different readings here. We've got our temperature, our pH, our EC value, uh, high meaning the pump's on and the voltage, the, PC, the pH value is converting into pH. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to enter up here EC calibration mode. So here we go. Please put the probe in the 1413 microsiemen per centimeter solution. Okay, now I type in calibrate EC. And we had a su successful calibration. We've moved the K value to 0 0.8. And now we will exit EC and it's been calibrated, successfully calibrated. That's pretty much it. So now I'm just gonna take the probe, I'm gonna drop it into my solution, and I'll get the reading for that. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a share as always. Thank you very much. Kenyon Glenn signing off. High pressure aeroponics, growing more with less. Until next time, thanks, bye.